time, still I'm in my prime Couple new blessings every time we pray Hey guys, it's your girl Makaya. Welcome to my channel. If you're new and if you're not, thank you so much for joining me again today. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your hair ash blonde like this, okay? So before we get into the video, I quickly want to give you guys some details on this hair. This hair is a wig, okay? This was a already made wig, a already pre-plucked wig. This wig is from a company called Victoria's Wigs. This is their 613 wig and this is 22 inches, you guys. Um, the wig did come pre-plucked already, but I did do a little bit more customization to it. Um, just for my liking. Um, I actually came across a video on YouTube. Um, I have been trying to figure out how I wanted to do my hair or whatever with the 613. I didn't know if I wanted to do a color, if I wanted to keep it blonde or whatever, but I decided to do blonde and I decided to do ash blonde. And I actually came across a girl's video, you guys. Her name is Ray Raybiana Simone, I think. I definitely know her first name is Raybiana. Sorry y'all for the background noise, but uh, her name is definitely Raybiana. And I love the way her hair came out and she is she said she was a dark skinned girl and I was like, oh my God, her hair looks so pretty. Hopefully it comes out just as good on me. Um, Cause you know, sometimes like depending on your skin color, a uh, hair color can look different on you versus how it looks on the person that you liked it on. So thankfully the hair color came out really cute. I'm so happy about it. And like my results are really good as you can see. This hair um, is really nice, really silky. However, it does have a little bit of shedding, which is normal for hair that is processed. In case you guys didn't know, 613 hair is processed. It doesn't come naturally this color, so you do have to expect some shedding. Um, but it wasn't like horrible to the point where like, I don't wanna wear the wig. Like it's definitely, you know, it's okay, trust me. But yeah, that's, you know, the deets that I want to let you guys know before we get into how I actually did this color. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about the hair color, y'all can leave it down in the comment section. But yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. Hey guys, so I am currently about to dye this hair. So I didn't want to, I didn't want this to be a situation where I did my hair and then you guys asked me how I did it and it was too late because I already did it. So I just decided to go ahead and make this a cute little tutorial. So basically, I have a 316 um, wig, and she is already pre-plugged. I don't know if you guys can really tell. But yes, she's already pre-plugged. Um, but I am gonna do a little bit more, you know, customization or whatever to it. Um, but yeah, so I have the 316 wig and I'm going to be doing a ash blonde color and I was looking up different looks on YouTube to see how I wanted to do this and I came across this one girl and her name is because you know I do want to let y'all know who I saw and who I was inspired by um let me see Her name is Rabiana Simone. This is her right here. I don't know if it's focusing. I'm gonna click on it. Why can I not pause it? What is going on? This is her. I just wanted to focus y'all this is her so this is basically the look that I'm going for so I basically was like I'm just going to do it like this however I'm not going to do it the same method that she did she did the um where you put the dye in the bag 
and you put the wig down in the bag and you shake it up or whatever i'm going to apply it with a brush just so i can make sure that i don't have any problems with you know it being streaky or whatever um but this is the look that i'm going for and th this is the color that she said used so she said use two boxes of dark ash blonde and two boxes of medium ash blonde this is the dark and this is the medium and she said mix them so i'm going to be mixing these two and then these two to finish the hair off um but yeah so shout out to her y'all her hair came out really bomb and she is well she said she's dark skin um so hopefully it comes out cute on me even though i'm not dark skinned hopefully it still looks good on me as well so uh, i mean for everybody who be like dark skinned girls can wear blonde hair uh yes they can okay because she looks bomb as i'll get out so this is what i'm doing so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show you guys exactly i'm gonna try to put a clip in here of how i put the hair i mean put the dye on my hair but I don't know if I'm going to be able to show y'all the whole process. Hey guys, so I quickly wanted to come on here and show you guys what I was doing. Um, so I had already done half of the hair and now I was just doing the other half. So the white cream is just the developer. And then I added the two bottles of the color, the medium um, ash blonde and the dark ash blonde. And now I'm just mixing the colors together. Um, it was pretty, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. Um, when I said I was mixing the colors, but I still want to come on here and show you guys exactly what I did So I put both of the developers in the bowl and then I poured both of the bottles of color into the bowl And I'm mixing them up and then I'm just gonna show you guys how I apply the color to the hair um, And then I'll show you guys what I've used what products I use to wash the hair or whatever And that was pretty much it you guys. This was a simple like hair color um it didn't really take too much it's not like i was doing like an ombre or having to put highlights and stuff in it it was really simple so um this is very easy and very doable for somebody who does not know how to do hair i am not the best at doing hair which is why you guys don't see many like hair tutorials from me but yeah this color came out really nice so um if you want to do ash blonde go for it honey yes you guys i'm just gonna put on a little bit of background music so you guys aren't just watching a blank screen and no sound and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye
so you guys the hair is pretty much done um so now i'm just going to wash the hair out with this ogx quenching coconut curl shampoo um and i'm gonna i'm gonna condition it with the nourishing coconut milk conditioner okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was helpful if you wanted to do your hair ash blonde go for it it's literally not that serious if you don't like it you can always put another color on top of it um so yeah shout out to rabiana for inspiring me to do this ash blonde hair color because had i not seen it on her i probably would have never done it so shout out to her and yeah you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe um all of the beats on this hair the products that i use will be down below in the description box so check that out and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.